your host, Damien Duff. And I'm Allie Bassett. Please pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a dress code check. Attention all students. Each week we will be focusing on one of our 13 school libraries. During the week, we want to see students pay extra attention to that week. A student will be chosen from each class at the end of this week to be recognized for their excellence in this following the first school rule. The rule we are focusing on this week and our first school wide rule is Respond to an adult when spoken to. Remember students, follow this rule well and you might win a chance to be recognized for your behavior this week as the spotlight student. Maybe be nominated for an award at the end of the year. What? Maybe even win a truckload of fabulous prizes? I don't see that in the script. Oh, uh, well, then you might even win an all-expensive-paid vacation to Hawaii. Oh, okay, we get it. Gee, just remember, rule one, respond to an adult when spoken to him. Tonight is an exciting night for BMS athletics. Our Lady Junior Vikings will start us off with a great game. In the gym at 5 o'clock, our volleyball team will take on T.A. Dugger. And drum roll, please. For the first time this season, our Junior Vikings football team will play at home. Yes, they will. The Junior Vikings will hit the turf at 5.30 in the Stone Castle against the tough team from Greenville. So come on, BMS, and be there at the Stone Castle at 5.30 p.m. to cheer on your Junior Vikings team to a victory. Hey, we're school colors, good blue and white. We only have five days left to sell items for the annual BMS Fall Fair District. Everyone needs to sell at least 12 items to reach their goal. But if you sell 20 items, you are entered for a chance to win a pair of Oak Leaves, sunglasses, or a GoPro Hero. All students interested in technology and wanting to join the Technology Student Association, or TSA, need to see their science teacher for more information. Those are the 